Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Wright. Today I'm going to read a story called Hats Off for the Fourth of July. Author is Harriet Zyford, illustrated by Gustav Millet. This story is based in Chatham, Massachusetts, which is by Cape Cod. So if your parents want to show you where Chatham, Massachusetts is on a map, and you can see how close we are to the person who wrote this book. It's about a 4th of July parade, one of many celebrations that we as Americans do for the United States of America to celebrate our independence of being our own free nation. I hope you enjoy the book. Hats off for the 4th of July. In Chatham town on the 4th of July, a grand parade will go marching by. Music and drum, music and drum. We're all waiting to see it come. See, it, his shirt says Cape Cod. And that's where the town of Chatham is located, in Cape Cod. The twirlers are walking down the street. They spin and strut and lift their feet. Music and drum, music and drum. Who will be the next to come? Cowboys on horses yell out loud. We all shout back, what a happy crowd. Music and drum, music and drum. Who will be the next to come? The big kids sit on top of the whale. I'll ride next year right near his tail. Music and drum, music and drum. Miss Eelgrass will be the next to come. She's the favorite of Chatham Town. Her hair is green and wraps around. Music and boom, music and boom. The big bass drums should be coming soon. The high school bound band proudly marches by. What a sunny day, what a bright blue sky. Music and vroom, music and vroom. The motorcycles need plenty of room. Patriots march with their muskets and hats. The Little League follows with baseball bats. Everyone marches on the 4th of July. Hats off, the flag is passing by. Music and drum, music and drum. We're sorry that the end has come. The end. So boys and girls, what do, you, what do you and your family do on the 4th of July? Do you have a cookout? Do you usually go to a parade such as this one that's illustrated in this book? Do you have a pool party? Do you have friends come over? If you wanna draw a picture and perhaps write a sentence about what you do on the 4th of July, that would be amazing. Remember, sentences always begin with a capital letter or uppercase and they always end with a period, an exclamation point to show excitement, or a question mark if you're asking a question and wondering why. Do the best that you can. Remember beginning, middle, and ending sounds to create a word, and do the best you can. Ms. Kerasi and I are so very proud of you all, and we know you can do it, and show that Fourth of July spirit. I want to see some beautiful red, white, and blue American flags. Kind of like this one. Okay. Have a great day. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.